Hello and welcome to Das Mod Product Updates. Today we will look what's new and exciting happened in past week and also we got our orange case from MNPC Tech. So I open the box and show you what's inside. I'm really excited. I haven't opened it yet. Oh my god. Give me a second. Our business is voiding your warranty. Here you go. MNCP Tech custom painted case for Das Mod. Arrived without major damage. Everything is clean, no issues. I have a little chip on the top, not big deal. We can fix it up, but the main panels, perfect. Everything is perfect. Let me show you what I have here. So, front all look flat, but I'll have a lot of stuff will be uh, inserted here, so it will be look as not as orangey as it looks like no right now. The color on the video looks more flat. You don't see really flakes to it. Uh, it's very nice metallic paint, uh, perfectly por polished and buffed, uh, looks better than my car. So uh, anyways, uh, so what we have here, I'd like to show you, on the top, as you know, 700, 800, have a provision for three fans, so that was completely cut out, so I get more air, uh, less restriction for the fans, it's better for performance. Also, I got black anodized custom grills, uh, low restriction as well, so protects you from uh, touching fans, but uh, huge holes, so the flow will be just right out, which is great. On the back, another hole was cut on the back here, and I don't know if you can see, um, but there's another custom grill, single, attached on the back of the case. So. So you see black and orange uh, combination looks really sharp. So on this side we have a custom cup window. It's better than 700. Let me show you. My 700 is here. So as you see the difference between 700 and 800, we have um, you can see power supply and all this bottom part, which is not actually that great. And on the other hand, you don't see anything on the top. So um, Bill fixed it. So he lifted my window up, so I don't, I can uh, hide anything I want in the bottom of the chamber of the case. I have full picture of the motherboard and all any water cooling component I have, which is great. And um, I even have a little logo um, engraved in the, in the glass which is fantastic. Okay, so a little bit more custom paint in this area. Does model logo here, which is fantastic too, because I will show water cooling videos using this case. This will be my main test bench. So I will have all the stuff uh, visible all the time. Most of the uh, videos you will don't even see this uh, front panel because I have to show you what's inside, right? So, uh, so what else? Um, also have a few goodies came with uh, uh, with the case. One is a custom painted uh, bezel for for the CD-ROM and DVD-ROM. Uh, basically, I uh, still need to modify it a little bit. This Lian Li uh, bezel and it doesn't readily fit Corsair case, so I'll have to modify this a little bit to make sure I can fit it. So this is one. Uh, also, I don't know if I use it, but just in case, uh, I get painted those uh, fan grills in orange if I want to. Have a few of those here. And um, I don't know which fan control I'll use. I have a NZXT control here, which is, was painted orange as well, as you can see. I already modified it earlier. Uh, this was a panel on the bottom. I just cut it so I can have uh, more stuff um, going through if I need to like put tubes or something like this. Uh, control itself is so so, but it's huge window. You have all fans spinning, so it's kind of flashy, and I think it uh, might fit uh, the seam of this case. So this is uh, option one. My option two will be. Aqua Aero 5, oops, other side, Aqua 5, Aero 5 um, advanced 
controller um, if guys from Aqua Computer will release it in time I definitely will use that I get ready with my front panel painted if they will go the same route as TFC and will release it I don't know 2012 um, probably will skip on that but that's uh, my option here and uh, what else uh, don't have electronics yet so I don't know what's inside I just start getting some parts that I purchased and I waiting for confirmation from a few sponsors that potentially can sponsor uh, my build and uh, nothing certain yet so we don't spell that out too much so one thing I got is uh, some Dominity memory why I choose that and uh, everybody asked me to put those AK water blocks uh, RAM coolers so uh, I bought the memory which actually can fit it so I'll put AK uh, cooler on top of those sticks obviously I wouldn't use supplied fan thingy um, another thing that I get I get some orange fans I don't know if it will fit well or not with the color scheme of the case but call is not exactly the same but this is one option if uh, if I decide to go with the colored fans instead of um, black fans and uh, that's all I have at this point so next step I'm starting week by week uh, hopefully faster than slower to collect my parts and um, we'll see how it will go so I'll keep you posted I really would like to build this computer uh, looks really great and uh, will be even more interesting to have it actually start assembled and get in a real system and uh, speaking about new products a few items I would like to touch today not much arrived um, since uh, last week to the store one thing we, we got is those uh, aqua computer remote controls for aqua IRA and when you look on the picture actually you're not really sure how big this control is and uh, I expected actually to, to be like slightly uh, larger than it is but this is a size that's actually, actually pretty pretty small very tiny unit um, the quality of the buttons are really good so a really nice um, feel uh, very um, like have a little bit click on it so um, this is a really good quality they, they were not um, like cheap on that and in, in terms of uh, like quality of the of the, of the parts that's used so the controller I really like there's so tons of button um, hopefully we'll get control itself so we can play with it a little bit and uh, but definitely a good option for people who get it it's coming standard with XT version and uh, with pro version that I'm getting this is an option so so I got my option here but I don't have a controller anyways so that's uh, what I have. Uh, let me look around uh, if I can find anything more interesting to give you more information for this week. Uh, if not, that will be end of the video. See you later. Okay, let's talk about products now. A uh, few things we got since last week. One is uh, those little kits for EK Supreme Block. So if you really feel that you have to have a new mounting system you can uh, and you have a revision one or two HF Supreme so you can buy those screws and uh, just replace standard uh, screw set with this and um, it will help you to mount block uh, with more even manner and um, hopefully it look better for you that's what I'm here from most of our clients who really like uh, looks of new mounting mechanism. So this is one. Second, uh, we got a new Coolens um, CPU 370. Uh, visually, not much difference. Uh, here's one uh, 370, one 360 together. And I don't open it, but good luck to find out which one is which. But the difference is mostly inside. So if you look inside of the 360, let me try to show you through the plastic, I don't know if I can do it, but nevertheless. So if you look through the block um, here. So if we look inside of the block, we see this narrow impeachment plate, so the water gets injected into inside of the block and high pressure. And, uh, and what was one of the reasons, I believe, uh, this block was relatively um, high performing. 
uh, trailing just behind um, HF and uh, um, Swift Tech blocks uh, in our tests. But now, if we look on uh, 370, it should look exactly the same. But if we look inside, and let's wait until camera will, will focus. But basically, we have a huge opening going inside of the of the block. So my guess that this block will be much more high flow but I think it will have less internal pressure from the water so the performance is a big question and I don't know if there are any reviews yet but I'm actually looking forward to see if Skinny or any other guys uh, uh, will test it and confirm if 370 actually perform better or not because uh, my guess that actually it will be uh, less restriction but uh, not as good temperature as 360 which is kind of interesting kind of upgrade and the last thing I'd like to touch is uh, those surge of premium bay reservoirs we see from coolants, from um, danger dan and uh, so basically coolants issued a um, new version of the for everything uh, RP452 revision 1.1 was issued for D5 pumps and for DDC pumps they issue RP402 uh, version 2 and but what you need to know why I bring it up so if you have a Z reservoir for DDC pump which is 402 model and you would like to run in a series uh, you need uh, to connect tubes together right so and coolants issued uh, an accessory that allows you to connect uh, tubing on the back of a reservoir just more easier manner then just do it yourself, right? just piece of metal but why I'm talking about this but apparently when they issued version 2 for DDC um, uh, style bay reservoir they changed distances so if you're buying those tubing you need now to closely watch what model you use and buy correct tubing so, so there is a one set for original version and other set for the new version so pay attention what you're buying because it could be uh, just 10 bucks going to the garbage if you buy a wrong version. If you're talking about D, uh, D5 uh, type of the, this reservoir, 552, uh, nothing was changed. So if you need a serialized connection and you buy those tubing, they will fit any model. At the end, I'd like to thank you MNPC Tech and its owner Bill Owen personally for providing us with this fantastic case. I'm looking forward to make a lot of water cooling tutorials and build my water cooling build inside of this unit. I'm really happy to get it today and looking forward to start working on the build in the next few weeks. Thank you for watching, subscribe, send your suggestions and your feedback and I'll try to make my videos better and more interesting. Thank you, bye bye.